Okay, so let's get a little bit of uh, practice with AVL trees. There's a link above the video that you can use to go to a, a web app that will allow you to get practice yourself. Uh, I'm gonna be using a slightly different app. I'm gonna be using this little applet to demonstrate some AVL tree operations. Uh, it's kind of amusing because it uh, kind of has this tree that looks like a little hanging mobile sort of thing. And uh, it uh, you can shake it and it, it maintains its form and its shape. Um, down below here at the, the menu bar, it lists the different operations you can do. Um, so we could take a minute and look at this and confirm that it is an AVL tree. I'll leave that as an exercise for you. So I want to focus on a, a couple of different operations here. We'll do a couple of inserts and we'll think carefully about what goes on as we do the inserts. Um, so uh, it looks like we've got 11, 12, and 14. I'm going to go ahead and insert a 13. Uh, which So the, the 13, it'll go through the binary tree search first and it'll end up uh, putting the 13 to the right of the 12. Um, and at that point, it'll start going back up the tree and uh, the 12 itself will be balanced, but the 11 will be out of balance. So this will be one of the right-right uh, sorts of uh, imbalances. Um, so we'll juggle those three different nodes, the 11, the 12, and the 13 will be the, the three nodes that end up being involved in kind of our, our little uh, triangle of reshaping. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert the 13. Uh, by the way, after we do that, when we're done, the subtree that is at this particular point uh, where the 11 currently is, will have the same height that had previously. So nothing above this will be affected because the height at this point will end up being unchanged. Travel back up, do the rebalance, and we don't have to go any further because nothing above us will be impacted since we got to a point where the height ended up being unchanged. Okay, um, Okay. so now I'm going to do a, another insert. This time I'm going to insert a 10. So when I insert the 10, it'll go to the left of the 11 right here. Um, and we can see that the 11 is going to be fine and the 12 will also be fine, but the 14 is where we're going to have a problem. So on our left, we'll have a, a height of uh, at 12, 1, 2, height of 2, and on the right, uh, our 41 um, will have a height of uh, 0. Uh, so that's a difference of 2. We're leaning too far to the left, so we'll identify the three nodes being involved. So the 14 will be where we're out of balance. Its taller child is 12 and the 12 taller child will be the 11. Those will be the, the three nodes that are involved in our um, restructuring, the 11, the 12, and the 14. Okay. Okay, so with that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, insert the 10. Uh, then after we restructure the, the 14, uh, I think we'll be unchanged in height from here on up. and so we don't have to proceed any further up the tree, okay? Um, okay, let's go ahead and try uh, removal now. Um, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to remove this 55 right here, a delete of 55. Uh, so when I do that, it is an, it is in fact a leaf node. Um, so that will leave us with a uh, subtree on one side with a height of zero and a subtree on the other side with a height of two. So again, we'll have an imbalance. Um, so in this case, our, the place where our imbalance is detected is 53. Its tallest child will be at the 12. And notice that the 12's two nodes are both equally uh, tall. So it's arbitrary whether we pick the 11 or the 14 to be involved in our rebalance. So I'm just gonna kind of circle both of those. It doesn't really matter which one. Uh, of course, this application is written in a particular way and has a specific way of choosing. My guess is it, it probably chooses the left one, but again, it's arbitrary. So I think we're gonna end up with a restructuring that looks like 11, 12, and 53 at this point in our tree. And uh, to the right of the 53, the, the 59 will be the, the subtree that's uh, dangling off of that. And uh, our other subtrees would be those guys. Oh, that's kind of messy. Um, okay, so again, I'm going to delete the 55. We'll travel down the tree until we find it. We'll do an appropriate binary search tree removal. And then we'll do our, our restructuring. And we did restructure 11, 12, and 53. Okay, so there's a, a link above the video to a, a kind of comparable online web application that you can use to uh, practice inserts and removes. I'd recommend uh, trying it and, and trying to 
construct problems where you encounter each of the four different types of rotations and try and identify some examples where you end up having to do multiple ro uh, rotations as you travel up the tree. Um, Okay, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, another little example here. I'm going to go ahead and insert something. Uh, after the uh, 14 here, I'm going to go ahead and insert 15. Um, so the 15 will go before the 41, so it'll go here. Um, that'll cause an imbalance at uh, 53, so we'll do some juggling there. So let's go ahead and insert the 15. Uh, once we rebalance at 53, I, I think we'll be okay. I think uh, the overall height at 12 will be... Uh, Okay, so 15 gets inserted, travel up the tree, do the rotation at 53, and then because the resulting subtree had the same height, everything was, was good. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's try and insert 16 now. So 16 uh, is going to go to the, the right of the 15, so uh, it'll go right here. Um, and this doesn't change the, the balance of 15, 14, or 41. It will change the, the balance at 12. So we'll have to do a restructuring. And this will be kind of our uh, right-left sort of, of structure. Travel up. Identify an imbalance. Do some juggling. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not going to annotate the, these next couple of ones or narrate them. I'm just going to do some inserts and... Uh, and generate some other scenarios. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue the kind of sequentially inserting things. We'll do uh, 22 now, which will go on kind of that same branch that we've been building off of. Uh, now maybe uh, 25. Notice that that time we had to propagate all the way up the tree, and we actually had an imbalance at the root, so we had to go ahead and do a rotation at the root.